After the events of WSC No Mercy, find out what is next for Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. And for the first time since the brutal No Mercy match, we hear from the WSC Hardcore Champion Cody Rhodes as he gears up for his next challenger, Randy Orton. At No Mercy, I went through the toughest match of my career. And even though John put me through so much hell, I'm honored to say that I beat one of the best wrestlers in this company's history. And my hope that John would see the light and ask for help has thankfully come true. He's checked himself into a rehabilitation facility, and I hope one day we see the old John Moxley we knew and loved return back home. But after that match, AJ Styles tried to capitalize and cash in his money in the bank contract. Can't say I blame him. But before he could, an old friend of mine came from out of nowhere and took him out with an RKO. Oh boy! Speak of the Viper, and he shall appear. Looks like the champion and challenger are about to go face to face. I attacked AJ Styles because I saw that match at No Mercy, and I knew I wanted a chance to face this version of Cody Rhodes. It's been great to see how far you've come. When I took you under my wing, you were 22 years old, stars in your eyes, all the potential in the world, and you had a lot to live up to. That's where I related to you. That's why we were the legacy. You had an uphill battle to fill your father's shoes, to become your own man. And look at you now. You've done it. You finally reached your full potential. Your father would be proud, as am I. But unfortunately for you, you have something I want. Not just something I want, something I need. I've done some amazing things in my career, but the one thing I've never done is become the WSC Hardcore Champion. Now you just went to war with John Moxley, and despite all the twisted things he did to you, you were able to survive. But I'm not John Moxley. I'm not a screw-loose alcoholic who acts without reason and needs a posse of clowns to have his back. No, I am much more dangerous. And you know that for a fact because throughout your entire career, you've never been able to beat me. And it doesn't matter how good you think you are today, I will always be a step ahead of you in this ring. Randy certainly doesn't mince his words, that's for damn sure. You're right, Randy. I've never beaten you. It's something that honestly has always stuck with me. I always looked up to you. You were like a big brother to me. You're right, you need to become WSC Hardcore Champion. But as much as you need to do that, I need to be able to say that I beat Randy Orton, my mentor and one of the greatest of all time. May the best man win. And with that, Cody has made it official. But it seems like a certain Austin Theory feels like he's been invited to this party. Theory was so close to winning that fatal four-way number one contenders match, but he blames his mentor Foley for the loss. What's on the mind of Austin Theory? You know, Randy, you were right about Foley. But as much as I wanted to learn from you, I made a new friend recently. And he's really opened my eyes to the truth. He's reminded me of your past, that if you were my mentor, all you'd do is just use me to get back to the top. You'd use me to serve yourself. You haven't changed, Randy, but I have. I don't need no one to tell me what to do anymore. What the hell? Whoa, wait a second! That's, that's Grayson Waller! Taking out the Viper! As it's now evident that Austin Theory has aligned with a new up and coming superstar. The Aussie icon now in WSC and he's seemingly a bad influence for Theory. And there's his former mentor, Mick Foley, looking absolutely disappointed in his protege. We gonna race. No mercy for my memories, y'all. This guy sitting there come here, he tried to end my life. Set freaks after me. And what did I do? I did what I always do. I smashed them. Set them packing back to where they came from. You'll never see anything like that ever again. I'm gonna make sure. 2024, I'm taking everything. The bloodline will have it all. But I wanna start off the year right. It's promotion season, y'all. Because I'm a good boss. When someone's doing good, 
we let them know. Somebody's doing bad, we smash them. <laughs> but we'll get ahead of ourselves. So tonight, it's about one man. This man has bent over backwards. He's sacrificed everything you can imagine over the past year or so. This man understands what representing our family means. This man understands what it's like to keep this family at the top of the mountain. And God forbid if anything happens to me, this is the man that's gonna step up. He's the next in line. This is the next tribal heir, the next tribal chief. Solo. Solo has always stood on business. Every single time any of these men have tried to defend their name and legacy. Now, unfortunately, I have to address someone who's been messing up. Quite frankly, disappointing me. Jay, what happened to you? You got beat so bad in that TLC match that you weren't even there for me when I needed you. I should have been announcing you as the next in line. That could have been you. But it's not, because Solo is a better right-hand man than you've ever been. I took you to another level, made you main event, Che Uso. And in this past year, all you and your brother have done is disappoint me. Now I hear you've been complaining behind my back. Do you have a problem with me? Are you questioning my authority? Go ahead, do something. You want to hit me? I'll whoop your ass just like when we were kids. Nothing's changed. Now you're either going to take this like a man or you're out of the family. Which is it going to be? Come on now. This, this isn't even fair. Jey Uso has the blame pinned on him for the downfall of the bloodline. Oh my God! Jey Uso has rebelled against his own family! Super kicked to Roman and went to Solo. Jay said enough is enough. He's not taking this torment any longer. Wait a minute, Jimmy, what the hell? That's your damn brother, Jimmy. Jimmy Uso has sold his own brother out. It's the only way. And now Roman is sicking the dogs on his own family. And Jimmy being the first one to lay the smack down. Solo wants a piece of that! Oh, Samoan spike to the throat of Jey Uso! I never thought we'd see the day. Everyone is showing the bloodline just what they think of this absolute travesty. Jimmy Uso just threw his own brother under the bus to save his spot in the bloodline. 